Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam, and today we're um, back playing Genome Guardian. Um, I'm going to try to use a suggestion that someone gave in the comment section. I also want it to be known that this is probably going to be one of the last videos I record um, with commentary, at least for the time being. Um, so... We'll see how it goes. Oh, wait. Um, okay, it did save that. Okay. I wasn't sorry. I didn't remember. Because I remember it said in the base game or in the prologue it doesn't save. So I was checking to see if it saved or not. Um, but yeah, the suggestion that was uh, provided was um, go without um, or go with one weapon. Like one weapon here with the uh, with just like upgrades and stuff on it. So we're gonna give that a try. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to be also known that recording this video is a bit of a risk in it in and of itself. Um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so let's see. Do I want to go with the laser again? I don't think so. I think we'll go homing and then just go for um, some other stuff, maybe. We'll see. Because laser was cool and all, but I don't think it was that good. I think if we could get something that's like, like crazy homing, and stuff, I feel like that would be pretty sick. Something kind of like that bouncy ball last time, but like where you know it's bouncing, but it has more of a a homing aspect to it. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Um, honestly, maybe. I mean, maybe having another pistol would be good to get the sniper, and then just go with um. Because you get the, you know, obviously the extra range and stuff from that. So, maybe that would be good? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Or, I could just go with like a... Like a one of everything type thing with here, with this. I think we'll just go one of everything. Like, have a shotgun and bomb, so then I can use um, various mods, whichever, whatever kind of mods I want to use. I do need more range. I don't think bouncing is really that important now that I'm thinking about it. I think homing is probably going to be better. Sticky. I'm still curious what that does, but I don't I don't know. Anti-air cannon. An explosive launcher that fires quick anti-air rounds that detonate within proximity of microbes. Oh. Cool. That's pretty cool. It even has longer range, I think. Maybe shorter. I'm not sure. I think it's just the blast radius is bigger, so that's why it, like, kind of reaches enemies that are further away because of the extra range. Oh, I didn't get to... Extinct. We'll go with that, I guess. Okay. Four horsemen. An unapologetic return to form. Combining the traits of the four starter weapons directly. Despite its simplicity, word on the Xeno Street is that nothing can match its power. Whoa. That's cool. Doesn't actually seem as good as I thought it would, but... Maybe some extra mods will... 
We'll make it a little bit stronger. I might try some experimenting. Try like a couple runs with this idea where you just have one weapon with a bunch of mods. Um, do I want more speed and accuracy? I don't think it's really that necessary. I think homing is probably going to be better. Because I don't think speed and accuracy is actually that good. Because, like, I, I can aim. Aiming is not really that big of a problem. Just I wish I didn't have to aim. Which is why I want the homing aspect to it. So if you get, like, some really crazy homing, I feel like that would be really good. Random microbe every five seconds. I think I'm going to go with that, though. Increased fire rate. I feel like that's going to be more important, especially for taking out, like, stronger enemies. And fast enemies as well. Fast, strong enemies are going to be really annoying. Oh, okay. Whew, okay. Things are getting a little... little hectic. I don't think I really want any of those, honestly. Let's just see. Whoa, that guy got launched. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do I want that? Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Give it more fire rate. I feel like that's going to be good. Again, I wonder if the extra fire rate decreases the amount of heat that it generates. I feel like it does. I don't want less damage. I want... I don't really want them having more health either, though. Eh, whatever. More fire rate, but I feel like more damage is going to be more important. But I don't feel like all well above 50% heat. I don't think that's all that important, though. I don't know. Maybe that was a bad idea. Definitely need to increase the range of this, though. A lot of big enemies are showing up. Fire rate? No, I don't feel like... Jeez, I need to get some better stuff here. Please, please, game. Come on. Oh my gosh, yep. Okay. Okay. I don't really need more biomass, I need more accuracy, maybe? 
more ra I mean more range, yes, but I need more damage. I mean the homing is gonna be really nice, but Because I don't really have good like single target damage, that's the only problem. It's like the stronger guys are a, a big problem for me. Even the little guys are a big problem as well. Knock that I don't uh, decrease size. Dang. I feel like I'm gonna lose here, so I'm just gonna go with that mod and hope for the best. Like, I'm hoping the knock, the extra knockback might do something. Okay. I don't, I don't need more size, I need more damage. That's what I need. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can I replace? Well, we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, thank you for the little bit of healing. I really appreciate that. What is it with these guys? Oh my gosh, there's so freaking many of them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Why would I want it to pull them towards me? That doesn't seem like a good thing. <laughs> um, I wish it would tell me what these things do rather than just... Or I guess I can check. With the first hit, you take each wave. Shield max, turret, scale. Without taking a hit. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I definitely need more damage and probably give them less health. We'll keep trying to go with this strategy, I think. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I go with, um... Let's try the bomb. Cuz I'm curious if you can get like a just like basically a massive bomb. That can like wipe out like probably not the screen, but Cuz cuz the bomb does good damage. It's just that like Obviously, slow fire rate. Um, which, 
Less, more damage, less speed. Is that really something that I want? Probably not. Yes, more damage, but less speed. It's already really slow. And the fire rate is really slow as well. But like I said, I'm hoping I can get something that's gonna like increase the or like or like get another bomb or something and then have it be like crazy um ooh more fire rate but less damage i mean that would be pretty nice 32 though from f down from 46 that's pretty bad But it at least allows me to shoot these a little bit more consistently without having to worry as much about being overwhelmed. To weapons with more damage, less fire rate. That's exactly what I want. I mean, it's not that I want that, but I'm saying, like, I already have something that increases the fire rate by a lot. So, having something that increases the fire rate by a little bit, but increases the damage by a lot, would actually be pretty helpful. Um, again... Not really anything that I want from there. So I'm just going to try to use this opportunity to kind of build up my biomass before I actually decide to use a reroll. Ooh, that was close. Almost missed that. Try to charge you without stopping. Size. Inc I could increase their size. Pierce per micro bit hit. I think I'm gonna wait. Gonna wait it out a little bit. And like I said, kind of save my biomass until I can hopefully get something a little bit better. Because the damage is so good on this thing. Almost like three times more damage than the four horsemen that I had before. Um, increased size but less fire rate does sound pretty appealing to me. So I think it increased the, the size of the explosion. Yeah, it definitely does. So like, increased size to the explosion as well would be really good. Because we're after something that's going to deal a lot of damage, have a big explosion. Maybe not the best fire rate, but that's not going to matter. There we go, more damage. Get another bomb, Bazooka. Okay. Whoa, see, there we go. More damage, bigger explosion. This is what we're after. See, and it even hit something that was way over there. Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't quite get that. We'll just unlock that stuff while we're at it. Why not? Oh, I did take a little bit of damage there. I should have probably paid attention.
Okay. Fast moving enemies is gonna be a little bit of, of a problem. And that's why I want the bigger explosion radius. I don't think I need more fire rate. I don't think... I think bigger explosion, more damage. I feel like that's the way to go. Mainly bigger explosion. So I'm thinking, like, if you have a big enough explosion, right, like... You can hit the enemy and the projectile that they shoot at you. Like, so yeah, no homing. Another bomb, mini nuke. Take up multiple hostiles at once. See, there we go. That's what you need. We got a freaking mini nuke. It's fire rate is really slow, but it's crazy. Look at that. I'm hitting things off the screen. Okay, now we just have a full on nuke. <laughs> Bro, now this is sick. Okay, yeah, the decreased fire rate. Okay, I feel like now we do need fire rate over uh, damage. Because 212 damage is already crazy. Sticky. What does Sticky do? I don't know what it does. I don't know if it's a good idea to go with Sticky. You know what? Let's see what happens. I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh, that's what it... Oh, this is perfect. This is actually... So you can just shoot them around and then... So, increased fire rate would actually be probably better to have here. Eh, that's fine. Oh wow, you didn't die in one hit? Dang. It's actually kind of surprising. Explosion duration, oh, area duration. Oh. What does that do? Whoa. The explosion gets bigger. Like it expands. Oh my god, look, that thing is freaking out. Oh my gosh, offspring speed, offspring damage. You know what, yeah, let's go with that. Whoa. Okay, yeah, now this guy is cool. I feel like I can just kind of put this in the corner of the, like, put like this in the, like, different parts of the screen. Oh. 
I can just buy more health. I think I could probably just buy everything. Yeah. Oh, imagine. Okay, that would be that'd be less fire rate, but. I wish I had more, like, extra slots. More than just three mod slots. Uh, if I had more, that'd be so nice. So I want to add extra, like, um... I want to add extra um, fire, like extra pr either projectiles or fr fire raid or something, because this is sick. This has to be my favorite, like, favorite weapon. I don't, what would I get rid of? Um, is the extra fire rate? And less to decrease damage, I think, is the best way to go about it with this guy. Maybe. I don't know. Because I also feel like the increased size is also playing a big factor into this. Because you get, you know, 150% a size, which is crazy. Okay, that guy. Wow. Oh, you know what? I can also increase the fire rate in the menu using the research points and stuff, so... I should also probably do that. That would also probably be the next thing to do after this. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, and so I unlocked healing now. Uh, I want to do that again. That was awesome. I don't really want anything else. <laughs> um, what perks? Yeah, bomb is just amazing. Build control and uh, rerolls extra pre unlock slots. So he's got less max heat, less cooling. Um, oh, but you get four weaker, but less upgradable weapons. Castle. Oh, focus. That's what I need. Okay, I'm not ending the video until I get focus. And then we're doing a run with focus. We need 400, then we're buying focus, and then he's going to be perfect for this. For the one weapon strategy. It's quite literally what the comment was asking me to do, was a one weapon strategy. Uh, per elimination for this wave, Pierce weapon must contain... So it can... Pe um, do I really need piercing on this? It's a bomb. Do you, do you need a bomb to pierce enemies? Probably not. You need a wet, you need a bomb to explode and take out lots of enemies in a big vicinity. So I 
feel like I've been recording for a while, but I don't care. I have I have the best strategy. I've been yeah. How long have I even been recording for? Thirty minutes already? Okay. So yeah. Two more runs should probably take the video to like an hour. See like right there would have been like an okay time to have piercing, but Again, if you have a big enough bomb explosion, you saw last time, piercing wasn't the problem, it was fire rate, being able to hit enemies on every side of the board. Yeah, I'm just gonna save up. Because a lot of these things I'm just not wanting. I need more bomb, I need more bomb upgrades. Truly, I'm just kind of doing this just for the sake of the extra research points. And then I'm going to try to afford focus. Afford, afford focus. <laughs> um, per elimination. Ooh. Ooh, actually. I don't think I, uh, I don't think it's worth it. If you're taking out enemies fast enough, you have a big enough explosion, do you really need less heat? No. No, you don't. Okay, I missed. What you need is faster fire rate. I they don't need a faster fire rate. I need the faster fire rate. I think the game misunderstood what I was asking. Just in case that was gonna hit me, I you know. So do I like the sticky, like, mod? Not really. I thought it was cool, but... And I feel like if there's gonna be a weapon that it's gonna work best with, it would be the nuke. But... At the same time, I feel like I feel like there's better options than than that. Um I don't none of that stuff is good either because I don't I don't need more damage I don't need more speed I need fire rate and I need explosion size that's the two things I need because damage is gonna it comes with the nuke fire rate goes without the nuke. <laughs> or it, it disappears from the nuke. Um, fire rate is taken away with the nuke. It is not give it, it is not giveth, it is taketh away. I do like how you can kind of shoot next to enemies as well, especially if there's like a lot, lot of them. <sighs> okay. I I could probably use a little bit of healing, cause I have so much biomass at this point that like it 
It's becoming a little obnoxious. Those guys are so fast. See, this is why I need more fire rate, because these guys are incredibly quick. Oh my gosh. Might actually be the reason I lose here is because I don't have enough fire rate. Because these guys are, are completely in sync. What does that do? I'm curious. Curve. Oh my gosh. That's what they mean by completely insane. Literally, their movement is unpredictable. Which actually might work out for me. Because then they're not going to be... Okay, never mind. It's not working out for me at all. Thighs. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't... I need... more fire rate. We talked about this game. Fire rate is important. Not damage. Fire rate and size. At this point, preferably fire rate and healing. Two things that are quite important to me right now. I'm so close to having the 400 that I need. I don't want to lose it with this because of some stupid lacking fire rate. Oh my gosh. I'm literally one hit. One hit away from dying. Oh my gosh, and I... Oh, okay. So close to the freaking 400 that I need. I probably have it at this point, but... Also a little scared. <sighs> this game is going to give me a heart attack. Okay. healing. Okay, yep, we're going to take out that projectile. We definitely need to try to avoid getting hit at all cost. More range and speed? No, I don't need that. I need fire rate and size. You know what? We're canceling run. Yes. Because I already have 500. We're going to buy the focus one. And we're going with focus. So we're canceling that run. We're going with this. We're gonna see what monstrosity of a weapon we can basically create using bombs and a, a nuke. Basically a nuke. Not even basically, it 
quite literally is a nuke. Ah, there's a literally right there what I need. Dang. That's rough. Like, I could have gotten the mini nuke right off the bat. That's so annoying. It does have extra fire rate and extra damage, which is nice. So definitely with pierce per micro pip. Piercing doesn't really do anything for the bomb. But you can add piercing to the bomb. And then if you get that thing, you get plus 50% damage. But, do I really think having a mod slot and a turret slot taken up for the sake of getting 50% extra damage, so I really think that's important? No. Two things. That I dislike. <laughs> Gosh dang it. We got the mini nuke now. That extra fire rate is definitely going to be nice to have. Because I don't have to worry about, like... Like, it's just a guaranteed 15% extra damage and fire rate. Okay, now we get the nuke. Now we just need to buy mods, turret mods. Yeah. See, that's good. And the reason I'm going for it is because I do need extra damage, first of all. I do need more fire rate, yes. But I'm thinking if I can get... The fire rate's so slow that the cooling actually triggers before the... No, I was hoping I could get the triple biomass there, but it's fine. I do need the extra... Um, I do need more fire rate. That is a big concern that I have right now, especially with the nuke. The nuke is so incredibly slow to fire. None of those are good. I'm just glad I decreased their speed, because do I think that they're going to be able to get close to me? No. If they do get to close, if they do get close to me, obviously I'm screwed then. But I'm hoping if I can get my fire rate freaking high enough, then fire rate plus 50% for one second on elimination. That might be good. I'm I'm gonna hold off on that for now. 
because... Oh, you know what? Maybe that wasn't so good. Because I need... Well... Because the fire rate is so slow that... Honestly, plus 50% for one second doesn't really do much. So again, I need more size and I need more fire rate. Honestly, maybe having, I don't know, maybe having that extra damage wasn't as good of an idea as I thought it would be. Like having, like going for extra damage over the fire rate. I don't like more uh, speed. Yeah, sure. I don't need any of those things. I need fire. I need fire rate. Uh. Oh, I should not have sacrificed that. I should have just taken the shots that he was sending rather than like. Projectile, oh my gosh. Oh wow. 500 research points from that, that's insane. See now, it's even less fire rate. Oh, that was so bad. It, the fire rate was actually so bad right there. I should not have gone for that. Um. Oh, I can't get that. Dang it. That actually... Oh, that actually... No, never mind. That would have actually been bad. I think I'm going to go with that, and then maybe increase my health. And then... Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's see. How long have I been recording for? 49 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. We are going to get a good run. We got a lot of health. Get 60% extra fire rate. When I get to 25 per, or when I get to 10 HP. So this one I know is worth 20. I, I, I didn't know what this one was worth. It could have been 15. It could have been 25. I didn't want to risk it. I wanted to get both. I honestly think size is more important than damage. I know no guy wants to hear that, but size is important. Um, more fire rate, less size. Still a decently sized explosion, though. It's also plus a hundred and fifty percent. So 
Plus 100%, that's, you're doubling it, plus an extra 50%. So, plus 40%, um, plus 40% fire rate, minus 40% size. I still ha I still literally, like, doubled my, I went from basically 20 size to 50 down to 42. So that's still pretty good. Now that's a lot of biomass. Get another bomb. Get the mini nuke. Now, yeah, the fire rate on this isn't great. Obviously, like I said, the bigger the bomb gets, the slower the fire rate, but... I want to get something huge. Itch, itch. I want to get something itch. Um... More size, actually, yeah, that would be good, because then that increases their chance of getting hit. You know what? An extra projectile as well, even though it is less range, that actually means that it'll go further, it'll go less, it'll take less time for it to go somewhere and then explode. So it'll actually explode sooner. So I actually do, you, you kind of do want less range on the uh, the nukes. Because then they actually explode sooner. See, like, if that range... You just need to keep increasing, like, the size of it. Like, the, ex the size of the explosion. As long as the size of the explosion is huge, you actually want it to be closer to like the middle of the screen. So then you're not you're not shooting over here. It goes to like the edge of the screen and then the explosion isn't big enough to hit here. Like if let's say you had the explosion big enough to hit the entire screen, if it doesn't explode until it hits over here, then it's only hitting like maybe like a third of the screen, whereas if the range was like, let's say like zero or something ridiculous like that, um, do I even need accuracy? Not really. It's a nuke. Do you need accuracy on a nuke? No. And the more that they spread out, the more likely, they, the more ground they actually cover with their explosions. So damage isn't really important to me right now. <laughs> damage has basically become non-essential because I have more projectiles. Um, but yeah, like I was saying before, it's like closer to the center. If you have an explosion that fills the center of the screen, you want the range to basically be zero because you want it to explode in the center of the screen rather than along the edge. Obviously, for other projectiles, like a, like the pistol or the shotgun or um, the submachine gun, you don't want the range to be zero. Um, because that would basically defeat the point of the weapon. No, ex no range means that the the bullet can't hit the target. Whereas with the bombs, the the explosion is what destroys the target, whereas the projectile itself is actually worse. Oversized microbe chance. I mean, I guess I could go with that. Less fire rate, more damage? Uh... Eh, eh. 
do I really do I want no I don't I don't really care for damage like I said I have multiple projectiles and so instead of getting hit with high damage you're getting hit with multiple projectiles that all deal all deal like medium sized damage so I would rather a higher fire rate to be able to fire those projectiles more often rather than less fire rate and oh, I keep going for more projectiles and I really don't have much fire rate and so I already have three projectiles I don't think it's worth it to take up another slot. Is it three projectiles? It is three projectiles. So it would only really go up to... It would only go up to four projectiles. I already have three. I feel like... Getting... Um, getting more fire rate is actually what's more important here. Like I keep mentioning over and over and over again. Um... I haven't taken a single hit yet. I just want that to be remembered. I haven't taken any damage. So if you're looking for a build that like is going to basically take you as far as you need to in the game, this is go with bombs. Bombs are going to take you to take you really far. Good amount of luck as well. You need some luck, but mainly bombs. Bombs solve all the problems in the world. Why do you think we keep bombing places? If you have a problem somewhere in the Middle East, for example, send a bomb. It solves all the world problems. Because if a place doesn't exist, you can't have a problem with it. If you bomb someone, you, how can you have a problem with them if you bomb them? Successfully, that is. Uh, if it's an unsuccessful bombing, then you might make them a little more angry at you, but... I think I'd rather the completely insane thing, just because... Um, at least then, it's like I can just kind of... They just kind of go wherever, and it. I feel like it actually makes it better for me. Because then I don't have to worry as much about where I fire, because they all kind of just... And plus, it's less likely for them to come towards me, if they are already coming towards me. Because their movement is more sporadic. See, yeah, see, that's not what I need. I don't need this. I don't need less fire rate. I need more fire rate. I have 185 freaking biomass. You would think I'd be able to afford something that is actually to be able to buy something that I actually need. I can buy anything basically at this point, but I can't get it in the freaking shop. I don't have any rerolls either. <laughs> I literally have all the money in the world. I feel like Elon Musk. I can't buy anything. I can't... Is this what it's like to feel rich? I don't need bounce. Bounce is not good for bombs. I don't need, like... I don't need more range. That's basically what I'm trying to say. The sooner they explode, the better. I need fire rate. Can I please freaking sake of everyone can I please get a freaking fire rate modifier please game 
Please, I'm begging. I'm begging. I will get on my knees and play this game on my knees if it means I get a freaking uh, fire rate modifier. Thirty. You know what? I'll take it. Plus thirty percent. Yeah, I'll take it. You know what? I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I will take it. I have so much biomass. Like, I just, I can buy literally anything at this point. But I'm only trying to buy things that I actually need. I, 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 I. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Tor Tormentula. That's pretty funny. I like that name. Whoa, you're a big boy. Like, see, the, the, the projectiles, the explosion size, everything is good. I need fire rate. The damage is fine. The amount of projectiles I shoot out makes it... Gosh, dang, I didn't even get to fully max. I did... <sighs> this is why I need the full game. I need the full game. Someone want, someone want to buy me the full game. Someone want to send me money so I can buy the full game. I don't even remember how much the game is. Let's check out the perks that I have unlocked. Calculator. Honestly, that would actually be pretty good. Then I can then I can buy that. Actually, that would probably be better. Yeah, whatever. Um Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's video. It's already over an hour long, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of uh, Genome Guardian. If you did, please leave a like on and subscribe to the channel. It made the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Next video probably won't have any commentary. kind of depends on how it goes. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a, a good day, rest of your day, good night, whatever time it is for you. And um, yeah, you guys take care.